Well then, what exactly are we selling? And how does our idea differ from that of Ashley's? We are selling a world-class beer bar. Sounds very different from just a restaurant or a bar. Well, we believe it to be. We will be selling the best beer in the state of Colorado and arguably in the entire United States. How? Well, we will offer 80 draft lines and roughly 150 bottles of hand-selected ales and lagers from around the world with a strong emphasis on American craft and imported European beer. There will be no weakest link, mind you. We will not serve Budweiser, Miller, or Coors products in an attempt to differentiate ourselves from other bars and restaurants and also to send a message to our patrons. We will not dilute the quality of our offering. Of course, we will have a full bar as well. 50 single malt scotches, 15 bourbons, 12 wines by the glass, and an excellent selection of gin, tequila, and vodka. But we will certainly always hang our hat on our beer selection. A very large portion of that selection will be craft beer. What exactly is craft beer, you might ask? There are three requirements of a brewer in order to qualify as a brewer of craft beer. Number one, the brewer must be small in stature, brewing less than 2 million barrels of beer annually. Anheuser-Busch brews about 104 million barrels of beer each year, while Boulder Brewing Company, Colorado's oldest craft brewer, brews about 26,000 barrels annually. Number two, a craft brewer must be independent, meaning that at least 75% of the brewery must be owned by a craft brewer or brewers. For instance, Red Hook Brewery in Seattle began as an independent craft brewer, but has since sold 34% of the brewery to Anheuser-Busch, no longer qualifying it as a brewer of craft beer. And finally, a craft brewer must use traditional brewing techniques, meaning that the bulk of their beer production be made exclusively from malted grain or, if adjuncts are used, such as corn or rice, they must enhance, not lighten, the flavor of the beer. For instance, Miller uses rice to lighten the flavor and cut costs when referring to its flagship beer, Miller Lite. On the other hand, Jolly Pumpkin, a small Michigan craft brewer, uses cocoa nibs to accentuate chocolate undertones in its Maracaibo Especial. Jolly Pumpkin would obviously qualify as a craft brewer, whereas Miller Brewing Company would be considered otherwise. So why won't we sell non-craft beer such as Budweiser and Coors Light? Is there a logical explanation and does it make business sense? Yes, there is a logical explanation and it certainly does make business sense. If we look at the craft beer segment over the past several years, we see amazing growth rates. Since 2003, craft beer has grown faster than any other segment of alcohol. Last year in 2007, Craft beer experienced 16% growth over 2006. Macro-brewed beers such as Budweiser and Coors grew at just 1.4%. Spirits such as vodka and scotch grew at 3.2%. And finally, wine saw about a 4% growth rate. No other segment without the, within alcohol has even come close to craft beer growth in recent years. Now, just as I did at Ashley's, I plan to allocate a good portion of our draft lines to rotating beers that change barrel by barrel. The idea behind the rotating lines is to keep regular customers interested enough to join us more often. Naturally, if the rotating lines are beers that are commonly found around town, there would be little reason to get excited. However, if the rotating lines were so exclusive that many of them could not be found anywhere else in Colorado, excitement naturally follows. But in order to offer such exclusive products, positive relationships must be made with both brewers and the distributors of fine beer. We will further differentiate ourselves from every other bar and restaurant in town and solidify ourselves as the place to drink and discuss the world's greatest beer by hosting Meet the Brewer events and exclusive beer release parties a la the Kuhn and Raspberry Icebox Party, but Colorado style. Adam Avery, president of the Boulder-based Avery Brewing Company, is seen as a celebrity in this town. The ability of our customers to meet him and discuss his wonderful beers at our establishment will certainly create a buzz around town for both his brewery and our world-class beer bar. Over the course of our own beer education, our travels have taken us to many, many beer bars. 
More often than not, it's rather discouraging to see such a fine selection of ales and lagers coupled with a food selection of mediocre, greasy bar fare consisting of burgers, fries, and pizza. As a progressive, next-generation beer bar, we aim to put a twist on the traditional beer bar concept and offer a healthy, unique food menu. With the amazing number of health-conscious athletes and residents who live in Boulder, we feel offering healthy food will better cater to our target clientele. Further, although people traditionally think of wine when pairing with food, we feel it would be another point of differ differentiation by actively offering complementary beer pairings alongside our food menu items.